What's up guys, I'm Tech Steve. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you all about the Myron Portable Home Projector. Now, the great thing about this projector is that it has plenty of inputs, it's small in size, and it's only $90. So let's get into it. In the box, you're gonna get an HDMI cable, a power cable, a remote control, an adapter for your old school VCRs or anything that uses the RCA inputs, an instruction manual, as well as a cover for the projector lens, Let's take a closer look and see what kind of inputs are on the projector. On the main side, you have a TV input, which is gonna require a coaxial adapter, a VGA input for a computer, as well as a USB input that you can use on most smartphones and a memory card slot. So if you have movies on a card, you can plug it in and go ahead and watch your movies right there. And then you have your power input. On the front of the unit, you have your projector output and here's where the cover goes. And you also have a secondary IR sensor, depends on how you mount it. And on the top, you're gonna to find your channel up and down, your volume up and down, as well as the enter button. Then you have your input source, your power button, and your menu. And there's also a focus ring here, so depending on how far you put it from your source, you can turn this to get the clarity of your screen. So let's take a quick minute to talk about the projector a little bit more in detail. Well, first of all, this projector will support a 1080p signal, such as an Xbox, as well as an Apple TV, a Fire Cube. It will support all that, but the outputs on it is gonna be 800 by 480 resolution. It has a contrast ratio of 1001, and it will last up to 20 years planted four hours a day. That's 50,000 hours of playtime with the LED built into it. Now, the remote control, does not come with batteries. It does use two AAA batteries, so you may need to get that. There's also a screw that comes with the projector, so you can adjust it up and down, so you can select the perfect height. When you first turn it on and you're under the USB settings, you're gonna get this little menu. So you have movies, music, photos, and documents. Then once you insert your memory card, you'll see USB 2.0 pop up, and then you can actually watch movies, music, photos, and text from the memory card. The next thing I'm going to do is show you some of the menu settings. Once you hit menu, you'll have this particular pop up. First thing is picture mode. You have standard, and then you can choose soft, user where you can choose your own settings, and you also have vivid. Next you have color temperature. Again, you have user, cool, medium, warm, and back to user where you can change your own settings. As a side note, you don't have a brightness or color control. It is preset inside of the unit. Next, you have aspect ratio. You can choose automatic, four by three or 16 by nine. You have noise reduction. The flip feature is a must have for a projector because you can mount this on a ceiling or on a stand like I have it, but once you press on it, you can do front, rear, front ceiling and rear ceiling. So if you had the unit upside down, it'll actually convert the picture to the right way. And you also have reduced display. Under the sound profiles, you can see you have user, where you can change the bass and treble separately, as well as your standard, music, and movies. And don't forget about the sports if you're watching a football game or soccer. You also can control the balance from left to right, set up an auto volume control, and you have surround. So you can turn it surround, SR surround, and off. Next, we have sleep timer. You can go from 10 minutes up to 90 minutes, and after that duration of time, it will turn itself off. And the final setup is you have on-screen languages. You have English, French, Espanol. You can restore it back to all the factory default settings. You have a blend mode, low, medium, or high. And this is where you can change the on-screen display. So right now I have it where it never turns off until I hit a button, but you can do increments of five seconds, 10 seconds, or 15 seconds. When the blue screen is turned on, it'll actually display a blue screen when it doesn't see an input source. And you can also go to the website and download some firmware to update it through a USB. Now let's take a look at a couple of clips from movie trailers. There cannot be peace without first a great suffering. Our world 
is changing. The massive. I have never felt closer to mom. I'm in the exact same place that she was. All the. Did you wash your hands? So here's my final thoughts about this projector. Coming in at only $90, you have plenty of inputs as well as a card reader, and it also supports Android's MHL technology. It's really good. You also have the VGA so you can run it on a computer and then have like a gaming system on another input. It's very versatile. It also comes with a nice remote control so you can choose the sources, go through all the menus and everything. Pretty good value. So if you wanna learn more about this projector, I'll leave a link in the comments below. And if you like this video, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.